Hey everyone, this is Eliza. Welcome back to Three Way Wednesday, our weekly pet business building video. So things are running along tickety boo in our business and bam, we get some negative feedback from a client about one of our sitters. The sitter didn't stay for the whole time. The sitter was smoking in my house. The sitter didn't show up when they were supposed to, etc. Do any of these sound familiar? Anyone with employees has had them. It puts you in a position of having to respond and investigate the issue and learning how to respond in a way that protects your sitter, your clients, and your business is crucial. So today's topic is the perfect response to a client complaint involving a sitter. So here's three things to keep in mind when you're responding to this feedback about your sitter. Number one, don't assume or admit guilt until you investigate. I always assume that there are two sides to a story and I'm only hearing the one side from the client. I never say to a client in the initial conversation, something like, I'm sorry that Sam did that. I'll speak to Sam and ensure it never happens again. First of all, this implies that Sam is guilty and it reinforces in your client's mind that Sam is guilty. Rather, I say something like, I'm sorry you felt inconvenienced. That is certainly not the way we do business, and that doesn't sound like Sam. He's a great sitter. Let me speak with him and investigate what happened, and I'll get back to you by X date and give them a real date. So number two, don't immediately give the client compensation. It's easy to say immediately, I'll, I'll give you a free visit for your trouble or some other compensation. The fact is, you don't know at this point what happened, and you shouldn't be rewarding the client if it turns out that Sam did nothing wrong. Number three, if it turns out that Sam is guilty, it happens, admit it freely and focus on improvement. At this point, it's fine to tell the client that, yes, it appears that Sam did short the visit. However, however I've spoken with Sam, and we've put in pl place X, Y, and Z measures to avoid having this happen in future. At this point, if you want to, you can also give them a free visit or some other apology compensation. So there it is, how to respond to, to a client who has complained about one of your sitters. Now I'd love to tell you about my new program. It's called Unleash You Petpreneur Freedom Blueprint, and it is designed specifically for pet sitting and dog walking business owners who feel like they can't step away from their business for a day, much less a week or a month. They're feeling overwhelmed and frustrated in their business, and they just don't see a way to step back and get a break. You can find out more about this program at thepetbusinesscoach.dog forward slash unleash you forward slash. And you can also uh, book a 20 minute coaching call with me as always. Uh, you can do that at tpbc.dog. Until then, I hope you have an amazing month and I will catch you at our next business building video.